Okay, John Fibonacci. I'm going to do my first screenplay. It's called I Stole a Book from the Durango Library. Here we go. So we got this guy. I think his name is Alexander DeMoss. Then we have this woman. I know. Maybe train. We have this guy. Guciano Antonio Rosinini Gallerino, Contemporary 1877. I guess that's going to be the title. Boom. This guy. Oh my goodness. Nadar. Felix Tunarcheron. Man, this guy. Just something. And then, of course, you know, his son. Holy shit. Emil Zuola. It's Antin Karajat. Okay, and then shit. Fuck. Mm. Son of a. And then, of course, Sarah Bernhardt, Torton, Gallery Contemporary, 1877. Son of a. I just. And then Charles Bel- He said, get my fucking name right. Okay, motherfucker. All right. Charles Abu de la Lair. He's like, you're, you're. It's like, yeah, try being named Jonathan, where everybody wants to put a fucking H in there. Jonathan Minoji, the original. Victor Hugo. Gallery Contemporary, 1876. And then, you know, we just got to. Let's. Uh, Emil. Dimrisser, you're like, all right, Jonathan Noji, that was one of the best screenplays. Um, what's it going to be really called? You're like, boom, right there. Look at, I'm dropping some knowledge. Look at this. Sucks to be you guys on this fucking YouTube channel. Got Alexander Dumas, 1878. You know, there's a lot of things I really enjoy. Of course, comedy, when I can make people laugh. Countess Castellonghi. I mean, this is legit. I mean, this is a count. Like, this, there, there's something. we got to figure out who the fuck that is. Google her. Countess Castellonghi. Sucks to be you. But I, for real, I uh, stole a book from the, from the uh, Durango Library. The World History of Photography. No, I really didn't steal it. They, one of the things I like about this um, beautiful town, Durango. Of course, I'm always talking about things I love love about Durango. Like Jonathan knows you. Not everybody needs a YouTube channel to tell people how beautiful the four corners are. I'm like, holy fuck. Look at this. Anyway, they, um, one thing I like about this town is they really celebrate um, trains. They really celebrate bridges. They celebrate books, and this, um, if you love books like I love books, uh, so they have that kind of like book fair, and they, it, was, it was weird because I walked in there yesterday, and I was asking how much the books were because they weren't marked. They said, it's a dollar a pound, and I'm like, am I buying meat or am I buying books? Anyway, so they love books out here, and I love books, but I also love photography, and then holy shit, for one dollar, one dollar. I bought the world history of photography sucks to be you guys because guess what we're going to be talking about photography and getting some knowledge but just the the beauty of uh, black and white photography and I'm thinking about doing some photography out here here we go I mean like this like I mean this is just something about the um, boom look at that I mean I don't even like cats this is what I think of cats Cats. Cats are delicious. But Amelia Van Buren with a cat in 1891. Oh, yeah. Google what's a dagger type. What is a dagger type? Look at that. Amelia Van Buren. And photography and, and, and the role that photography plays and has played. Even, you know, 
real life old old school execution. 1865, July 7. I mean, just kind of before there was film. I mean, boom, you're like, all right, Jonathan Noji. Now, I thought this was an interesting picture. You know, you have a juxtaposition of boom. Then we got this guy. Who's this guy? Google him. In fact, leave your comments. You're like, all right, at 5.33, dude. That was, boom, John Wilkes Booth. You can kind of put your comments in there. Tell me what you like. Um, of course, tell me where you're at. I always like to hear from uh, how far this channel is growing. Like this is... Uh, Look at that. Switzerland, 1865. For $1, I bought this fucking book. And then we're taking a journey to Paris. The Gorge of the Temi, if I'm saying that correctly, 1865. I mean, that. You know, one thing about um, black and white photography, um, I noticed this last night, is uh, there is a, a beautiful, I think we can all agree, this was the original uniter, his story, how he went from poverty and came from absolute poverty. His wife's a little nutty too, 1865. And presidents or titans. Well, that's beautiful. I love this. The four blacksmith. I mean, I mean, just the simplicity of that. Anyway, back to Paris. Um, there is a um, there's a picture in here about the Parisian catacombs, and it's a picture of a the, a legit guy working in the Parisian catacombs and. Um, so interesting because, you know, most people don't know that anything about the Parisian catacombs and um, that Paris is built upon a cemetery. And so there's this really amazing picture here where uh, this guy is aligning the um, the skulls and it's like, holy shit, I would love to go photograph the Parisian catacombs. What an interesting mission trip that would be, or mission, just kind of a, who's doing that? Jonathan Minoji. I'll find it. The Parisian catacombs, of course, you know, when you're doing one takes, of course, the Dor Dorothea Lang, I talk about her all the time. You know, I talk about feminism a lot on this channel, but the work that Dorothea Lange, once you understand who Dorothea Lange was and you understand the role that photography played and, <clears throat> and uh, Dorothea Lange really created the image of the suffering woman and, and not just the suffering woman but the valiant woman and she captured that and, and that was when women were, were beautiful. Dorothea Lange's work. Boom. All right, there's my riff, riff of the day. Jonathan Fibonacci stole a book, a beautiful book. I'm going to find this Parisian catacomb. Maybe we'll just end on... London, look at that. What is it about black and white photography? I don't know. Beautiful. Jonathan Minoji is out. You guys be good.